Dan Kowalki in the 78th minute, scored by number 19, Tyvon Campbell. Welcome back to episode 3 of Non-League to the Champions League where we're trying to take Woking FC straight to the top. In a previous episode, we started fairly well. We started the season, we played the first three games, we won two, we drew one. In this episode, we are facing the team that is predicted to finish top. And if you are new and you haven't yet, make sure you are subscribed, turn those notifications on so you do not miss a video. Like this video, that is very important in helping the series grow and also leave a comment. All of that helps with the algorithm. Lastly, this video is sponsored by the OneFootball app. One Football have been amazing enough to sponsor this video and what I need for you guys to do is check out the app. The link will be in the description, it's fairly easy to do. You can download it via the link or you can use the barcode on the screen. The app is a great footballing app. It's where you can check the latest statistics, the latest football news. You can also watch some live free games. Yes, you heard me right. You can watch free games live for free, for free on the footballing app. It's my favourite place to keep up to date with the most recent football news. You can also find some fantastic analysis and match reports on the OneFootball app as well. If you're attempting to replicate tactics like I do on this channel, you can also use this app to grab the latest match stats and all of that good stuff. So make sure you check out the app. The link is in the description, but also you can use the barcode on the screen. And trust me, you will not regret downloading this app. So welcome back to my managerial office. As we can see, Woken are currently in sixth place where we've played three, we've won two and we've drawn one. So here we beat Willstone 4-1 away in the last episode. We also drew 3-3 three, three at home to Halifax Town. That was all my fault. I take full responsibility for that draw there. Jamie Allen scoring two goals in the 90th minute. Absolutely ridiculous. It was all a tactical fault, all on my part. And then we went away to Torquay, where I've performed a little bit better. And we got a 2-0 win away, where we won convincingly. In this episode, we are up against Wrexham, Bronley and Chesterfield. And for me, the result of this game could tell us where we are in the league. So should we be pushing for promotion or should we be happy around that mid-table? For me, if we perform very well, against Wrexham I mean we might as well go all out and aim for that promotion now I wanted to check my scouting quickly just to see just to check up on the scouts see if they got anybody interesting they've got Joel Rose I mean he looks like he could be potentially decent his current ability maybe he won't be pushing for this Woken side straight away he's currently on loan to Dodge Dortrecht, Dortrecht, I don't know, somewhere in Holland somewhere over in Holland and that's just Vicente so if we check out Ronnie as well He's got Caron Stabana. Again, his ability is not great, is it? It's not the best. Maybe he won't be pushing for a place in this Woken side, but potentially he looks pretty decent. So that is what the scout is telling us. Nobody's there interesting at the moment. And we can just check up on the squad as well to see how they are doing. Jermaine Anderson, he started his rehabilitation phase after a broken leg. He broke his leg before he even joined us. So that's nice to know. He will be returning maybe around four weeks time. Tariq Johnson, he also broke his leg, but that was at the first preseason game. We haven't got to use him in the league yet. We are looking forward to his return. Apparently to the assistant manager, he is currently the best player in the the squad absolutely we are looking forward to his return but we have some time to wait five months is telling us that is a very long time but enough of that chitty chatter let's get into that Wrexham game let's see how well we can perform so here we are we are picking our match day squad Walking first team let's look at this first team we're going to put Callum Rowe on the left wing again just like in the previous games just Casey at left back let's just swap these two and these two I don't know why they're always out of position I think I'm just gonna have to change it again Stop being lazy. But we're also going to start with George Oakley as well. I think I prefer George Oakley up top to F. Young at this moment. Of course, that can all change pretty soon. And then we're going to put Tommy Block on the bench for the opposition instructions. We have already set them. As you can see here, we've already set our oppositional instructions. So it should be fairly easy just to implement them into the game. So let's get stuck in. 
to this Wrexham match. In the previous games, I've gone with telling the boys there is no pressure and so far it's worked like a charm. So again, we're going to do that, but we are going to try and motivate these little units here. So for the defensive midfield and attacking unit, I'm just going to tell them I have faith in you. You can make the difference. So far it's worked because at the start of the season, a lot of these players are new. Already when I joined, Woken have signed some new players. I've then added to that. So there is a lot of new players. And we don't want to put pressure on those new players. Let's start this game, shall we? Oh, it's an early chance. Kreshma puts the ball in the box and Ince heads the ball wide. Woken with an early chance. Come on, Woken. Come on, Woken. They're actually called the Cardinals. You can call us cards, the cards for short. So 15 minutes in, we have held Wrexham to little basically no chances and we've had 68% of the ball we are keeping possession of that ball I mean this is Wrexham they are predicted to finish on top of the league so they must have some decent players but they may be under attack right now there's Crawford I can see space out on that flank there it is the ball's gone out wide Davies he's gonna whip the ball in Crawford he's hit the bar Wrexham have hit the bar. It looks like they are crawling into the game. A little bit more possession now as well. And a little bit more shots at goal. Oh, we've taken them down. Don't tell me this highlight. It's still going. It is as well. They are putting pressure. Bentoza. It's gone over. He's a former Cheltenham lad as well. And I'm a local Cheltenham lad. <laughs> we are slowly approaching half time. And it's currently 0-0. So I would say that is a decent, decent first half. Again, tell them there is no pressure. Go outside. Have some fun. Have some fun. But some of these players, they can make the difference. Go on, boys. And I'm going to give them a little bit more encouragement as well. Try and up that morale. So here's Josh Casey on the ball now. Don't lose it there. He's lost it. Ah, oh, how have we lost the ball there? How have we lost the ball there, boys? Come on. And he's, oh, that's a goal. Oh, keeper. How have we lost the ball from our own little throw in there? Redmond plays it out wide to, what's his name? Hosanna. He plays it in. I mean, the keeper should be saving this as well. I don't know how that's squeezed in, man. Here's Kreshma with a corner. Matt Nerny, and it's pulled back straight away. Instant equaliser. Matt Nerny walking on level terms. Come on, boys. Kreshma is going to be very important with his set pieces. He's a decent free kick taker as well, I believe. Penalty taker as well. And it looks like he's on the corner duties. Wrexham are finding a way back into this game. I mean, they're starting to be the... Oh, come on, boys. There's two of you. And there's got, there goes Hosanna. He's driving down the flank. And again, oh, come on. We're not putting any pressure on the boys going out wide. We're just allowing them to cross. Come on. Some tactical changes. I'm not sure why we're just allowing them to cross the ball all the time. Which is literally put no pressure on the wide men. Just allowing them to cross the ball. Kreshma, Lofthouse, Matt Nerny. Lofthouse, a bit of patient build up here. Matt Nerny on the ball, Rohan Ince, Kreshma, nice play there. Go on, Tavon. Tavon, oh, you've got to save. I mean, you got to score that. Tavon, son. Oh, come on. Is nobody going to go to him? Get that out there. Well played, Josh KZ. Ah, oh, I can't believe we've missed that chance. That was a golden chance. It's time to make a sub. Should we take off Tavon Campbell? <sighs> oh, he's anxious. He's feeling, okay, okay. I don't usually take off my favourite player, but that's what we're going to do today. We're going to bring on the lonely Windsor. I oh, don't want to attack again, man. Come on, put a, put a foot in, boys. Look, nobody wants to tackle. Every everyone's just, why is everyone standing? Go on, Lofthouse, get that out. Oh. Seems like they've got players. Oh, he's got to be offside, man. What is going on? How just just split us open? Why is no one putting a tackle in? Oh. Look, everyone's just standing stationary. How, why is there a big... How is the big gap between the two centre-backs? Just allow that. This is not a good game from Woken whatsoever. There's Rohan Ince on the ball. George Oakley. Ince. Alakria, please don't let that be the highlight. Penalty. Your fans tell me you do not miss from the penalty spot. And you don't, do you? There it is. 3 2. And we're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. We're going to push up a little bit. We're going to start pressuring them with a the counter press. Come on, boys. 
We've done well. We've held our own away from home, traveling to Wales. We've done all right. Oh, here's another chance. Just Casey. Rohan ints on the ball. Just Casey whips it in. George Oakley. Oh, he's. Oh, the time. I'm just watching the time. Oh, and he's running down. Unlucky, lads. So that game ended in a 3 2 defeat. I mean, ah. We can't be too harsh on the boys, can we? Wrexham are predicted to finish top. And that is our first loss of the season. But we've got another, a very important game against Bromley. They are currently fourth, so they're in decent form themselves. So today we've made some slight changes in goal. We do have Craig Ross at right back is Alex Pike. Joe McNerney and Sal Shotted at centre back. Josh Casey as the left back. Tarrant on the wings with Callum Rowe on the left. Max Kreshmer as the central midfielder. Solomon as our holding midfielder. In the F Young up top as the target forward and not Owen Winslow, we are going to be playing Tavon Campbell up top as well. So that's the team. Good luck, boys. Go outside and show me why you are superstars. Again, go outside, have some fun, enjoy the game. Enjoy the game. No pressure, lads. No pressure whatsoever. It looks a it looks an early chance for walking here. Josh Casey on the ball, South Shotton. The new man on loan has put Woken up within the first minute of the game. That is a very, very good start. Exactly the start that we needed as well. Sal Shutton heading a ball in that top right corner. Come on, boys. That puts us in fifth place, but we do have a game in hand as well. Very tasty. We do have a game in hand. Josh Casey with another free kick. But they've cleared the ball. Now Whitley is on the ball. Alexandra, again, we've got to put a foot in. I'm not sure why we're kind of... Hesitant and trying to put in tackling. Lofthouse, you've got that. Oh, Alex Pike, sorry. Alex Pike has that. Oh, that was a poor long kick, man. Win that. Yes, Shotton. Okay, I'm not liking this highlight whatsoever. How have they hit the post from there? Come on, keeper. It's another set piece. Oh, that's a good catch by the goalkeeper there. Cousins, who's up top? Please win that. Oh, my God. What is going on with this game? Why does it do that? Oh my days, just head the ball, son. And we just give them the ball. There we go. Shotton, Solomon with a long ball. That's awful. Why are we playing so bad? Look, that's, oh my God. Why are we playing so bad? Demand more, what is going on? This is not the same Woken from the last episode. Bingham, Shotton heads the ball out. Just says nobody's up for the games anymore. There's nobody around their players. Trotter. Whitley out wide now. Alexandra, come on, boys. Get the ball. What's going on? And all of our highlights seem to be set pieces that they've defended very well. And it's 2-0. The ball has gone in. I mean, I've told them that. I've told them to demand more. And I mean, it's exactly what I've got. But I'm not exactly sure what is going on with this team. We seem a bit second to every single ball. Apart from that time, which we did get the goal i mean we are going to attempt with much more often it pretty much seems the only other option that we have to try and close them down we are literally just allowing them to have the ball that's what it seems like anyway in every single highlight but here we are the second half walking 2-0 up at half time come on boys come on the cards matt nerney is winning everything in the air today i think it's time to make a sub we're going to take off taron he's not having a good game whatsoever and we're also going to take off matt's kreshmar for Tommy Block. We're also going to try counter press. Let's see what happens. So Womney, Trotter, Dennis. And there we go. Callum Rowe. He's gone. He's gone to Vaughn. Oh, come on, to Vaughn. you got to play him in. There we go. Callum Rowe. Driving down the byline. Put the ball in, please. He's pulling it in for Effiong. And he's hit. Well, maybe he hasn't hit the crossbar. It's just gone over. It has just gone over. So it seems that we have been the better team. We've created the better chances. What a move that was by Wilkin. We didn't get to see it, did we? And here seems like the last chance of the game. Effiong. Tommy Block. Lofthouse. Driving down that byline. Tavon Campbell. It just had to be. I mean, what is a win without Tavon Campbell scoring a goal? It's 3-0 to Woken in the last minute. I mean, since we've changed the, um, to counter-pressing and we've gone for much more often counter-press. Counter-press? Trigger-press. It seems that we have been more assertive. 
it seems like and we've had more possession as well it seems like we're doing a little bit better on the ball since we've made those changes so that could be something to potentially think about and that wraps up the game at the late weight stadium it is walking free Bromley nil let's go to the dressing room and we're going to tell the boys nice work everybody that was good and it's on to the next one on to the next on on to the next one I like that song so here we are for the third and last game of this episode where we take on Chesterfield at home. So we're going to ask the assistant this time as well. Make sure nobody is, well, clearly unfit. Tommy Block back on the bench. Kreshmar back in central midfield instead of deep line playmaker. And up top, we can't just play without Tavon Campbell. But we are going to give Windsor a run out with Callum Rowe at left back as well. So we are dropping out the captain Josh Casey I feel Lofthouse can have a good game as well today maybe we should go with those changes maybe we should go with those changes maybe we should go with the counter press and for the much more often we can try it out for this game Chesterfield might be a decent game to try out some new tactical ideas so this time we're going to go for something a little bit different I just want them to pick up from when the last left off and then again I'm just going to tell the defense midfield and attack they can make a difference for the opposition instructions opposition opposition instructions again we're going to set up our tactical idea so here we go for the third and final game of this episode chesterfield at home they are currently ninth in the table we are currently fifth so it looks like a chesterfield corner this time clark is going to put the ball in oh hit the bar he's hit the bar we haven't started this game part oh it's giving away another corner what's going on oh my god oh my god see sometimes maybe we shouldn't have started like that we'll drop the pressing back again but oh they just had a corner after a corner they're putting some early pressure on us i'm not exactly sure what is going on this episode we we're so good and so classy away to talkie it feels like we're a bit off the pace josh clark roll i mean there's just literally look there's no pressing no pressing is being done we're second to every ball just like this. Come on, boys. Let's try and win the ball. Put a tackle in. Someone, please. I mean, look, which is al literally allowing them to play. They're going to make a run into the center of the box and then there's a goal. Look, there's a goal. I don't understand what's going on. We're literally not even attempting to put a tackle in. Everybody's just standing still. Puts the ball in and then look, easy. Again, at that near post and the keeper just cannot get there. Here's a set piece of our own Kreshma. Matt Nerney heads it over the bar. I mean, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. I'm not sure at all. Our team doesn't seem to be tackling. This one doesn't seem like a good game for Walken. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, here comes Whittle on the ball. Kreshma heads the ball out. Here comes Sykes. They've got a man out on the... Don't let him shoot. My God, what's going on? Kreshma on the free kick, McNerney. We've got to score one of these chances. Oh, my God. We could have easily been up or equalised from one of these set pieces. Look, it's just ridiculous now. We're getting so many set pieces, but we can't capitalise. Callum Roll, Windsor. Callum Roll, in the box. Don't shoot with your right peg. Oh, maybe shoot with your right peg. <laughs> Callum Roll has got to go back. I mean, now we're going to make a sub. We're going to bring on Josh Casey, put Callum Roll at left wing. Windsor has been pretty ineffective this game. Time is running out, but it's Chesterfield on the attack. Oh, Callum Roll has intercepted the ball. Now he's driving at the Chesterfield defence. Oakley wins the ball to Vaughn with a one-on-one, -on -one, please. It's to Vaughn. Oh, come on. Woken saviour, my favourite hero, to Vaughn. Campbell come on boys Callum Rowe again he's been very important for us so far he wins the ball Oakley wins that head or that flick on Tavon Campbell settles himself one-on-one -on -one, smashes it in the back of the net it's 2-2 we've done very well getting back into this game now it's Josh Casey this is drama oh no don't let that yes Josh Casey now Josh Casey oh he's hit one. Oh no don't no 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 thank god <laughs> thank god i mean we've had so many set pieces this game and have we capitalized off one i don't think we have no oh come on loft house you gotta get closer to your man miller oh he's sent off he sent off oh ref that was soft so we're gonna put oakley at right back leave tavon up top if he lets me 
Alex Pike. Oh my God. Well, this has been an entertaining game and it looks like the game will end in a 2-2 draw as time is running out. And yes, there it is, the 2-2 draw. Woken did come back from 2-0 down. They show some spirit. They show some fight. I mean, I've got to tell the boys I'm pleased, but deep down, deep down, I'm not really. We're going to go back to regroup. We're going to go back to what we know best. And then for next episode, hopefully we are performing a little bit better. But in the next episode, so we are going to skip a few games. By the time we come back to the next episode, we will be playing. I mean, who should we play in the next episode? We'll come back when we are playing Yuval Town away from home on the 26th of October. Then we'll play Altrinum as well. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And then we will play South End away in the very next episode. But just a little squad catch up. Let's check out who the top goal scorers are. Tavon Campbell has scored seven goals in six games. Sal Shotton has scored two. Callum Rowe has also scored two. Max Kreshmar, Joel Nerny are also on two goals. In the F Young on one. So it looks like pretty much of a one man team at the moment with Tavon Campbell scoring seven goals. George Oakley has three assists as that target man. Owen Windsor has two. Max Kreshmar has two. Josh Casey also has two assists. So the best rated players so far by average rating is Joe McNerney at the centre back. Josh Casey, the left back, Tavon Campbell up front, no surprise, Sal Shotton and Matt Kreshma. But unfortunately, that wraps up this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope the drama was entertaining. I hope my little, I don't know, my little actions, my little behaviour, I hope that was entertaining as well. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget, if you are new or you haven't yet and you are enjoying this so far, make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out a next episode. Make sure you like this video. That will help this video out as well. And also share it, leave a comment. All of that good stuff is all going to help this series grow into a very good one. I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe. Peace out.